In the last few days, we've all been reading and hearing reports about how a new WannaCry ransomware has been affecting computers around the world. In today's video, I'm gonna try to explain what's been happening and what you can do to stay safe. Hey guys, this is Ashia from C4E Tech and let's get started. So what is WannaCry? It's a virus that enters your system and encrypts all or rather most of your files. So it basically scrambles the files in a way that you can't access them. You'd need for the files to be decrypted in order to gain access back to them and for that you will have to pay $300 via Bitcoin. After 72 hours that goes up to $600. After a week your files are lost permanently. You just can't decrypt them anymore. So this is WannaCry. So how does WannaCry infect you? Code in an email attachment, code buried in an unsafe website. You don't have to access it even if someone else on your local area network does and WannaCry gets in. It can infect all the computers on that network via a standard file sharing technology called SMB or Windows Server Message Block. This is why WannaCry is the largest ransomware attack we've seen. Hospitals in UK's National Health Service, Spanish telecommunications provider Telefonica, and even FedEx have been infected by this. So where did WannaCry come from? Initially, the National Security Agency in the United States had compiled a list of Windows exploits to use for security's sake. In other words, their own means if they wanted to infect a system for security. That data, in a case of digital karma, got hacked and dumped by a group known as Shadow Brokers. One of those exploits known as Eternal Blue is what is supposed to be used here by WannaCry ransomware to infect computers worldwide. And that brings us to what's Microsoft doing about it. Once the exploits were dumped by shadow brokers, Microsoft patched them for the latest version of Windows. Sadly, that meant people using Windows XP, Vista and Server 2003 were left unprotected. We can't really blame Microsoft because support for these OS have been discontinued for a while now. That said, within 24 hours of WannaCry hitting PCs worldwide, Microsoft has issued patches for the likes of Windows XP Server 2003 and more. So what should we do to stay safe? Well, follow the regular safety steps. One, make sure your OS is updated. Two, do not open attachments from contacts you don't know. Three, do not download from fishy websites. Number four, create backups onto the cloud or a drive that you disconnect so that even if you do get hit, you can format and restore. One point worth mentioning is that WannaCry is exclusive to Windows and will not affect your Android phone or iPhone no matter what you read on forwarded WhatsApp messages. So that's it guys for this video on WannaCry. I hope you found it useful. If you didn't feel so, feel free to vote this video down. But if you did find it useful, Give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you've already subscribed, click that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. And that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this here is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.